Okay, so today's shot that we're gonna be working on is going to be this one here. And right off the gate, you can see that there is a significant yellow uh, cast over the whole image. This might work for some, but I think that I want to remove this uh, color cast as well as the noise in the image as well. We're gonna be working on that. If you didn't know, DaVinci Resolve has a very good noise reduction uh, built in. I know a lot of people really don't know how it works. So I will go over it a little bit. And in the description, there'll be links to more information on the noise reduction. One thing to say about it though, is that it is a studio only tool. So uh, if you do not have studio, it's a, you know worth taking a look at how to remove this cast as well as see how well the noise reduction does work. So if you were interested in potentially buying DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in and get started right away. So the first thing that I would probably attempt to do is obviously get rid of this yellow. And one of the tools that we can use is the color picker down here for white balance. And so we're typically going to be picking something along the gray scale here. And I would say that these window frames are supposed to be white paint, right? So there's window frames and a door frame, probably white paint. So if I click in here, we can see that we are at in a very good spot. This is probably what it actually looked like, but there are a couple of issues here. And one being that if we take a look up in these uh, lights here, there is this blue hue and on the wall as well, as well as that same on the bridge of her nose and her forehead. So that is something that we might want to take a look at here and it looks like this light here is a completely different color than the rest of them but yeah anyways um and we can see down here it moved the temperature all the way to the max on the cool and it all also pushed the tint all the way towards magenta so i don't really like to go to the edges of tools like that so um, this might be something that I would want to pull back or potentially do a different way. But if you wanted to just do it this way, because this is quick and sometimes you don't have the ability to go in and make these adjustments and take a long time, you just want to do it quick. So one of the options we can do is just pull this blue out. And so if we wanted to pull the blue out, let's just make another node here, just holding alt and then, or option, and then hitting S will give us another serial node. If we come down here and we go into hue versus saturation, we're picking the color and we're changing the saturation in that color. Because this is the blue, I wanna pull that blue back a little bit, but keep the yellows and all the other tones that are there. And we can see that we have a little spike here in blue. If we come over here and pick our qualifier, which will allow us to pick a point on this uh, line here, and we pick that blue there, we can see that it's definitely blue. And we can pull this back until we don't have that saturation there anymore. And I would say that that's probably a good spot. If we take a look at this, I'll turn it on and off a couple of times. You can see right in here is where it's really strong. We're turning, we're removing that and in the wall a bit, we're removing that. So that's going to be the same on her nose and her forehead as well. So. Um, that is one way of doing it, but one thing that you have to be mindful of is that this is going to be an adjustment to the blue to, towards the whole image. So if there was, let's say, uh, in, in this case, let's say an American flag there, you know, obviously the blues are going to be pulled back or there's a blue car outside, um, you know, different things like that that are going to be blue. If she had a blue shirt on, you know, that is something that would be affected as well. But overall, I think the shot is definitely in a much better spot than uh, where it previously was here. So so a different way that we could go about doing this is if we just have just a single node and let's just pull the higher end and in the gain, which is going to be the higher end of the image, we just shift it from the yellows towards the blues and we're going to get something that is a little bit better. And I would say that that's probably in a good spot. We are going to be introducing some blues in here if we do go too far. So that is something to be mindful of. Next thing that I'd probably do in this shot is brighten it up just ever so slightly. If we switch over to the wave, we can see that we're really low on a lot of this when it comes to our signal here. So let's uh, go back over to our curves here. And I wanna say I'll probably clip off the bottom end of this and then maybe bring up the mids, something slight like that. Um, if you wanna snap, all you have to do is hold alter option and it allows you to snap. Um, so that is something to be mindful of. If you do wanna remove one, you just have to right click and it'll remove that. So I would say somewhere in there is probably a better spot something like that. And then finally, we now need to work on all of this noise that is in our image. And so, actually I think I wanna pull that back just ever so slightly. 
we're getting kind of crazy there. Okay, so the other thing is this noise. So if we really zoom in, we can see the noise here. Let's make another node here. And if we come down here, we can click on this little button. Down here is going to be our noise reduction. So there's two different types of noise reduction and there is temporal and spectral and I'll quickly go over them. So temporal is the one that you're typically gonna to wanna to control first. And what that's going to do is it's going to look at however many frames you pick. It's going to look at the difference between the frames. And then from that, it's going to try to one, see the motion that is in the frame to find the details, as well as the, uh, the noise that is generated there, that randomness. Uh, and then spectral is just going to be specifically just looking for high frequency noise that's in the image and pulling back. So you really wanna start with temporal and then go into spectral if you can't pull it, if you can't remove it all with a temporal. One thing to note with these is that you do have the ability or you do have the possibilities of adding in artifacts into the image. So I like to start with like a two and then down here we can uh, affect the luminance or the chroma for the threshold for when we're adding in this. And so we just bump this up a little bit and we can see that we're quickly starting to remove that quite a bit. And so I would say that there is probably a really good spot to be. That's with it off, that's with it on, as you can see there. Uh, you don't have to go too crazy to get a really good looking image. As you can see there, I think that is very clean versus having it off. Uh, this is with it off, having it on. We can see up in here, it's looking really nice. Over here, it's looking amazing to be completely honest with you. Um, so I think that that is probably a way better spot than where we previously were, which was this. And now looking at the difference between them, it's like, oh my. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, temporal, we're gonna want to uh, add into here. Like I said, all of these controls I have uh, in the description have a link going to detailed information on it all. I know that a lot of people, it's gonna be too much to, to get in one video, but the idea here is that you wanna work with temporal first, if you're still having issues playing with those settings, then you can go into spectral, but you really want to be mindful of uh, potential issues that you're uh, uh, adding into the image when it comes to just artifacts in general. So that's pretty much how we would get this shot to look significantly better than where it previously was with just a couple of nodes. Um, yeah, I think that this is a way better spot than where it previously was, which was this craziness um and yeah so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you want to know more about davinci resolve i have a whole website dedicated to it links in the description for that if you want some free titles links in the description for those as well but with that being said my name's jr thanks so much for watching until next one guys 